Hi and welcome to a random nerdy channel and today as you can probably guess from the title I'm doing something a little bit different because you know the internet That's right. I'm shooting fish in a barrel and giving you six quick facts that just don't work in the ever-growing yet mind-numbingly stupid flat earth model Number one the lunar eclipse with the amazing solar eclipse that was visible in 2017 across the United States, a lot has been said as to show how this could have, maybe, possibly work in a flat Earth model. But there's another eclipse, the lunar eclipse. A lunar eclipse happens when the Earth gets between the Sun and the Moon, and the Earth casts a shadow on the Moon. And it's for this reason that the lunar eclipse only ever occur at the exact date of the full Moon, when the Moon is directly opposite the Sun. In a flat Earth model, the moon doesn't ever go underneath the earth, meaning this shouldn't be possible. Number two, the International Space Station. Most flat earthers say that satellites don't exist and that the ISS is actually a huge ploy to dupe the public out of billions of dollars. But the problem is, it actually does exist and you can see it. Don't believe me? Well, download an ISS tracker app and wait for it to come over your head. You should be able to see it with your naked eye. Not only that, but if you have a telescope, you can actually make out details of the ISS because it's so large. Uh, I myself have imaged the ISS and so have these amateurs. And this one, and this one, and that one. So, Flat Earthers, what on the flat plane is that? Number three, Star Trails. Everyone knows that stars rotate around Polaris, and if you take long enough exposures, then you can see that clearly with star trails. But did you know that there's another entirely different hemisphere called the Southern Hemisphere? And it happens there too. Constellations like the Southern Cross don't ever set in most parts of Australia, and if you take a time lapse, then it shows that stars revolve around a spot referred to as the South Celestial Pole. So how on earth can you have two places that stars rotate around on a flat Earth model? Ooh, that's right, because the Earth is round. Number four, the endless day in the south. On a flat Earth, there is no way to have the South Pole in perpetual light without lighting up the Northern Hemisphere. Whereas on a globe, this is predicted. And guess what? That's what we see, like every year in the Southern summer. But it's even worse for the flat Earthers because there's no way to have more than 12 hours of daylight in the south while the North is in winter. But, you know, you only need to check the sunrise and sunset times in Hobart, Australia to show that this happens. Number 5. Sydney to Johannesburg. Qantas Airlines runs direct flights from Sydney to Johannesburg. A flight which I've actually taken on multiple occasions. A flight which is impossible in the Flat Earth model. The distance between those cities is a little over 11,000 kilometres. Flying at around 1,000 kilometres an hour, the trip would take you 11 hours. And what do you know? That's how long the flight takes. But on the flat Earth, if we draw an arc, the distance would be close to 30,000 kilometers, meaning the plane would have to travel over Mark II to get there in time. Or another way to look at it is that a 747 would have to fly three times as fast and go three times as far as the advertised limits. Impressive. And number six, the miraculous unsetting sun. If you're watching the sunset at the base of the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building, and then you take an elevator to the top, you'll be able to see over the horizon and you'll see the sun again, and it will miraculously set all over again. If the sun disappears because it gets further away due to perspective uh, and other things that flat earthers say, then going up the top of the building would have absolutely no effect on seeing the sun, but it does. And those were my six quick facts about why the Earth is definitely not flat. And I could have gone on for hours and given you about a hundred more, but I thought I'd just leave you with that. If you like this different type of video, then please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. And until next time, please keep your brains inside your head.